Hi, this is Trevor Conkergood. Welcome to this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week. Our topic for this week is about the Circle Monogram tool, and that is something that was new in our latest update this year. And so if you're ready to get started, I will bring my workspace nice and large and we'll talk about creating monograms. So the first thing you'll do uh, to create a circle monogram, so there's lots of different ways to create a monogram and specifically to make the circle monograms, you're going to click on your text tool. And here you'll find that we have two different monogramming tools. There's the, the monogram tool and then a monogram template designer. And it's not the template designer, it's the monogram tool. Now, the template designer is how I created sort of different, you know, arrangements. So with the template designer, you can easily do, uh, you know, different quick sort of layouts for your initials. And, um, but it doesn't really give you the same capabilities as the monogram tool, which has the ability to do some special monogram fonts. And so the difference is when you click on your text and you choose for the monogram tool, that the first thing is you have to click to actually see, and it puts down, you know, ABC, and it always goes to whatever font you used most recently. And for me, that's the circle monogram tool. Now, of course, I can change it from a circle monogram to other, you know, styles. So you can make uh, with this tool different fonts. But when you choose, and it's not all of them, but some of them have uh, special monogram sort of shapes. So notice that monogram one has a very distinct diamond shape. And if you choose monogram two, it's more of a kind of like scripty, you know, big in the middle and smaller on the sides. And so depending on which font that you choose will depend on kind of the way that the monogram is laid out. And you'll also notice that a lot of these special monogram fonts also come with little decor. And the decor could be something like a wreath that goes around it or a border that goes around it. And so you'll know when you're searching through your fonts over here on the right that as you mouse over a font, if it includes decor, you'll see it, see like that in its uh, kind of icon for the font. And so you'll know if you choose monogram one that it's going to go to that cool diamond shape and then it's going to have different frames that match that cool diamond shape. And so that is why the monogram tool is very different from your sort of template designer, which gives you different arrangements of the letters. And so the one that's newest in this group is up at the top. It's called the uh, circle monogram. And when you click apply, um, it will go to the circle font and then uh, the circle font is also one of the ones that includes the decor. And so now you have, I guess, different styles of borders that can go around your circle monogram. And so you can just quickly, I guess, try them on and see how they look. And of course, you're not meant to do a monogram that says ABC. You're meant to come in here and type in, you know, WAF, which stands for Walter Augustus Floriani. And now that is the, um, you know, initials in there. Or of course, you could do Trevor Howard Congregate. And so it's whatever your initials are can be your latest one. And so that is how you can access the circle monogram tool. Simply click on your text tool. And then there are two options for monograms. And it's not the monogram template designer. It's the monogram tool. And with the monogram tool, when you click, it will get started and it will come up with whatever font you used most recently, but then you come to your properties box to choose the font that you want and or the decor that you might like to add around your monogram. And so we hope you enjoyed this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week. Until next week, have a great day and bye for now.